So a few weeks ago, I created a video about uh, making a sauna. And uh, in the intro, I had this ugly house that I quickly built in Blender in order to make a small animation. So I thought that I'd try to build our house in FreeCAD instead. I did a live stream a few days ago where I tried this BIM workbench, BIM. <laughs> and I had some issues, uh, but it was the first time I was using it, so... So let's try it once more and see how we do. We'll start off by creating a building and then a floor or a level. And then I guess we need a sketch for the slab. So I'm using the drawing of our house to do it. Let's hide the grid. I think it was this bit. Yes. Compress the slab like that. Let's make the slab 400 millimeters. And now we should be able to make the outer walls. Let's just put these inside the building. Uh, maybe this slab should be inside this level. Let's build the outer walls. We'll draw a new sketch. And we can use this slab as reference. We should be able to just draw on top of this like that. And let's call this outer walls and press the wall button. Okay, how tall should we make these walls? The walls are sticking out a bit, so we can uh, play with the alignment here, align like that. Now it's flush with the slab. Let's measure the thickness of the outer walls. So they are 35 centimeters, 50. The question is how tall should the walls be? Measuring from the outside the height is 2.5 meters up to the roof. But since we are gonna create a roof, we probably want the sides to be a lot taller. So let's stop here and create the roof first. So let's create a sketch. It's important to use the slab as the reference and not the walls because we will be doing Boolean operations which might break our sketch references, which is something I learned when I played with this the last time. Use these as references and then create the shape of the roof. According to my measurements, the roof sticks out 0.6 meters from the sides. 600 like that. Let's rename this roof sketch. And Press the roof symbol here. And now if we double click this, we have all these settings. And according to my drawings, the angle of my roof is 27 degrees. So let's try to find out which side is which. 27. Okay, this one is one of the sides. Yeah, and that's the other one. So we can set these two, other two to zero. And uh, the length of the roof is 6.2. That. Let's adjust the thickness to, I don't know, 150 maybe. Yeah, that looks reasonable. So now if we raise the roof to be 3.4 meters. Like that. So now if we bring the outer roof back, we want it to extend all the way up to up to here so we can uh, raise the roof to probably at least six meters let's do seven yeah that's way more that we needed okay so now we can select the roof and the wall in that order and press minus like that 
So now we have cut off the walls. So if we hide the roof, then we have the exterior walls correct. So that's nice. Our house is yellow, so the question is, are we able to change the color? Likewise, the roof. Like that. Nice. Let's hide the roof and focus on the interior walls. So something that complicates things uh, in our case is that in the kitchen and living room area, we don't have a flat ceiling. It's also slanted the same way as the exterior, but with a smaller angle. I think it's 18 degrees or something like that. So um, yeah, we need to figure out how to do this properly. I haven't tried this before, so let's see how it goes. Let's focus on the exterior doors and windows first. So let's do the same thing and use the slab as the reference points for the placement of, of all of these. So we'll hide the outer wall and create a new sketch. And I can call it door window placement. Itch. Okay, so this is one side done. Let's uh, show the wall. And now let's click window, seal height decides how high up the window will be and um, here you can select the window types in my case it's just a fixed window 1.1 wide 1.1 tall and here we have some other parameters actually the window size of 1.1 was for the glass and not the oral size itself so it's actually 1200 1200 and then instead of 50 millimeters i have a, a 10 millimeter frame adjusted h1 and h2 so now if we place window here we get a nice window like that next window seal height is 0.7 We'll add one there and one more here. Nice. Then we have a door here. So let's click on a door and then, uh, yeah, I guess it's a simple door. The width is 839. And the height is two meters like that. So is the door hinged correctly? Let's see. Here opening, let's say 25 degrees. So okay. The door opens inwards and that's not correct. We have outwards opening doors. How do we invert opening direction like that? Yes. So that's good. Close. There it is. Then we have a small tall window here. The sill height should be like 50. And then it should be the same height as the door. Yeah, it looks correct. And then we just keep doing this all around the building. the exterior done, I guess. So now on to the 
inside walls and the slanted roof 